On the final installment of Kim and I's $40 storage auction, we show in this video just a, a wide variety of tools that we picked up, which was pretty remarkable. Um, you just never know what's in the storage units, and it's just all about the treasure hunt. But, uh, you know, finding these tools was, was just icing on the cake. So, with that being said, let's see what we do today. All right, guys, what I'm about to show you is all the tools that came out of this unit and uh, and some gear here. Uh, it's pretty remarkable, considering I only spent $40 on this unit. This first one here, and hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, is a Tanaka TBL 4610 uh, blower, backpack blower. It's dusty, but, I mean, it looks like it's it's really never been used. Maybe used a couple times. Um Everything seems to be here. I do have the hose attachment. So um, at some point here, we'll we'll strike this up, fire this bad boy up, not at this moment in time, but this might be a keeper. Um, maybe I could sell another blower I have or something like that, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's see what else we found. Here we got some more Tanakas. Again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or at all. <laughs> um, all right, so I looked these up. These were not cheap and they seem like they're quality. Um, they're pretty pricey uh, from what I was doing some research on line with. Um, so we have a Proforce THT2100 um, gas-powered hedger. Um, again, I'm going to have to do some research on these, but uh, anytime you come across gas-powered tools, um, especially for lawn care, they're very desirable because they're not cheap in the stores. So in the used market, you could do pretty well. Um, <laughs> I just bought that Echo one some months ago. And now we've got another one there, uh, Tanaka TBC 2500 weed eater here, gas powered. I mean, again, I don't. Th these, if these have been used, they've been used very little, and so it's uh, it's something here that I can I can flip pretty fast on uh, the local scene here. Um, so again, I just got to do some more research on these and see what we're doing with it in terms of price. Um, some of these I might keep. That's the beauty of when you buy storage units, you know, you can get a lot of stuff that you actually need. So um, that's pretty cool. Three pieces right here off the off the cuff from uh, for lawn care. Pretty nice. We found a credit card receipt from Sears. He owed about $5,000, and that kind of explains it because I think I've got all this craftsmen that he was charging. This is a nice craftsman um, 125 PSI compressor. Again, it looks brand new. I just aired up one of my tires, so it does work. That's a nice find. One horsepower, three gallon. That's That might be a keeper. <laughs> a lot of these things might be a keeper, guys. Um, here we have a Craftsman wet dry vac. Looks like I got the hose for it somewhere along the line here. Again, it looks like it's brand new. Um, I already have a vacuum, so I might sell my old one here and just kind of go with the whole Craftsman theme. But yeah, I mean, geez, this was such a surprise in the unit. Uh, I couldn't believe it. And there's more. Let me show you. I sure love the Craftsman. Here we got a little palm sander. This one does appear to be used. Top kind of chewed off there. I'll tell you, anything rubber or plastic out here just gets eaten alive. Um, this is probably five to ten bucks at the flea market or local sales. Uh, we got a whole kit here. Um, unfortunately, one of the batteries died. I don't know if that's from the heat or not, but um, we got the charger, we got two drills, we got a small saw, and a light. It works. So, not too bad. Um, probably just gonna line all this up as one big lot, sell it locally. If not, um, if only bites on Facebook, we'll just move it to the flea market when we do that. So, uh, let's see what else we got. All right, we got a uh, Craftsman Orbital uh, Buffer Polisher. 9 inch. This is probably 5 to 10 bucks locally. Uh, we got a Craftsman. Is this a 2.5 ton? 2 quarter ton trolley jack. And uh, you guys see price of this in a video that I pulled out. But um, yeah, maybe 30, 40 bucks locally for something like this. This is nice. So uh, let me kind of show you guys uh, some of the other stuff that came out of here as well. There's just there's so much of it, it's insane. Here we got a whole Craftsman drill set. It appears to be complete. Might be missing one little wheel here, but um, 
the stuff looks like it's never been used. So pretty good shape here. Here we have a Craftsman combination nailer stapler that just looks minty fresh. Um, this is something here we'll sell locally as well. All of these are going to be locally. This is going to be the draw when I do a flea market. People are going to see these tools. They're going to snag them up. And I'm going to have a really big day when I first hit the scene there. I'm not going to give stuff away, but, you know, I'll give people a fair price on stuff because, you know, the tools, people, the tools is one of those things they always sell if they're in good shape. Um, there's price points to them all. You know, obviously, Craftsman is not the number one name brand. You know, everybody's looking for Mac tools and Snap-on and stuff like that. But, you know, at the same time, you know, people buy Craftsman. There's no doubt about it. Here we got another Craftsman. Just a standard 7.2 volt. It's a plug-in drill, power drill. Nothing too crazy about that. Again, another local flip. Here we're moving on to, it looks to be Black & Decker drill bits. A whole set of it. So again, these will be local here as well. We'll sell them at the flea market and make some good money on it. Man, it's just crazy to think. Like, just from the pictures of that unit, if you guys have not watched that video, go check it out. Because um, I showed at the end of that long video, you know, what the, what the pictures looked like. And there was just no way to tell that there was tooling in there. Pretty crazy. Funny story about this one here. I took it to a pawn shop just to see what the pricing was on tools these days. They wanted to give me five dollars for this. I said, "No way in hell." <laughs> this is a Craftsman Mechanics Air Tool Kit. It is complete, and again, it looks like it might have been used only a couple times. So, um, you know, people like the older Craftsman stuff, the made in the United States stuff. So, you know, I thought it was kind of an insult at the pawn shop for five bucks. So. This, again, will be a local sale here. Um, I might look on eBay to see what they're doing these days, but um, other than that, this also came out of here. This appears to be the brand Crescent tool set. And um, let's see, is it? Yep, it's Crescent. Okay. Yeah, it was crazy because I was looking to see how much... Um, I was looking at tool sets, and I came across Crescent on Amazon, and I was blown away that... The, I think it's something very similar to this. Sells for two hundred dollars. So um, this has got everything you kind of need for your for your tools. Um, so I got to do a little further research to see if this is the same set that's selling for two hundred new. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, forty to fifty dollars for it um, on the used market. But yeah, again, this looks like it's never really been used. It seems to be all here, and um, might be a couple of bits missing here. Yeah, there are a couple. Not a big deal. We'll find those. But, uh, yeah, pretty crazy, huh, guys? All right, just got done going through this toolbox that you saw in the haul video there. Lots of stuff here. This is kind of like all unmarked tools. And there's, there's some decent tools in here, nothing too crazy. And uh, got it looks like a set here of gear wrenches. I mean, they're like in brand new condition. These here, what are these? Allied? Some allied ones. We've got all different types of little stud sensors. This is like a multi-tool pack with bits. We've got some uh, just mix match of stuff, tools. What's in this thing? Oh, again, more little, little tool kits. So that's cool. Um, all this here is Craftsman. Craftsman bag came out of there. A little Craftsman, maybe utility knife holder. And then we've got some more down here. All Craftsman, which is nice. There's a pair of brand new gloves in there. Um, there's a tool kit here, companion kit. This was a nice little find. This is a Black & Decker. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, there we go, let's see. This is a brand new Black & Decker bullseye laser level. I mean, it literally looks brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. Or even taken out of the package. This guy was a craftsman nut. So that's just that's just one little tote there of uh, what was in there. So you know and there was all those craftsman sets in the boxes too. So this looks like maybe these are duplicates. And uh, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is just grab another box and go through that and see what kind of other mumbo jumbo we got. But so far not too bad. <laughs> Crazy this unit was only forty dollars. All right, so moving on to the. Looks like this is probably the bottom of this box. Let's try the top. 
No, this was the top. This is the bottom. This has wheels on it. Yep. <laughs> so let's see what's in here. Get some stuff on the top there. I can see more Craftsman. So I got a bunch of mumbo jumbo in here. Some usable stuff. So I'm going to go through here and uh, kind of sort it all out to see what we got. All right, just got done clearing out this toolbox. And we got some more kind of random tools in here. Uh, some testers, looks like. Got a pipe wrench. Uh, got some hammers. This is brand new. Black and Decker Auto Wrench. To look that up. Uh, got some protos here. A couple more Craftsman ones here. This uh, looks like a Craftsman screw extractor, maybe. Uh, this is cool. This is a, what does this one say? A charade knife. This is the second kind of nicer knife I think I found in this unit. Looks like this one's got some flaws on it. Let me open it up. All right, got that opened up. Looks like there's maybe a chip or something on that. Not too sure. But uh, it won't focus. It won't focus. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Little knife there with a little pouch. Um, I got another one of these. This looks like it's a, a drill extractor. Um, this one looks like it's brand new. So I'll probably end up keeping one of these. We'll sell this one here. I believe this is complete as well. Let's see. Uh, I think it's actually missing one bit right there, but uh, it'll still somebody will buy that. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is what is this? Cold heat, an electronic soldering kit, maybe. Yep. So I'll we'll have to look that up, see what that's worth. But uh, other than that, just some mumbo jumbo. So not too bad for two little totes. I'll take her. All right, so that was a lot of tools to go through. We got a nice little bag of Craftsman tools and some generic tools. So we'll, we'll see how all that does. Last two items here in terms of tooling that came out of that unit, we have a Craftsman 144-piece set here. And it is complete minus one. So um, pretty nice set here. Again, looks like it's pretty much like new condition. So that's a nice find right there. I think these retail for like 150 um, and then here, just got a Craftsman bag, right, Pookie? <laughs> she always wants to be on the cameras. Um, there's a bunch of sockets here, a bunch of Craftsman sockets. And, um, I, well, I just spent some time putting all these in here, and they all fell out. So <laughs> that's how it's going to be. This set is complete here. So um, this has been a pretty darn good unit, guys, and I'm um, going to make some money. So this has been a pretty good unit here, guys, and um, I'm thankful. I really am. We'll make some good money on this unit. This is the last video in the series for this particular storage unit. And um, I appreciate all of you guys watching the video. So go out there and be great. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. All right, here is the unit.